You think I'm just some hack out to churn out lazy sequels for a quick buck? No matter how great fast food might be, sometimes things go wrong. Alas, mishaps are inevitable, but at least with these tricks, you'll be better prepared for the inescapable. Here are 15 fast food hacks that will blow your mind. Fight the planet! Subway's V-Cut. Eat fresh. Now, what does that make you think of? Subway sandwiches. The goal when eating a Subway sandwich is not to make a huge mess. After all, the whole point of choosing your toppings is for them to actually stay in the sub and not go anywhere except your mouth. So if you're tired of having to rebuild your sandwich every time, the solution is very simple. Solution? I'm sorry, did, did he say solution? Just ask for an old-style sandwich cut. Essentially, instead of cutting the bread straight across, they will cut a deep V into the roll, which will leave a wedge and a more stable bread base to hold all of your toppings in place and avoid the mayhem. This V-cut used to be the norm at Subway, but it fell out of fashion. Why? Beats us, but oh well. You might have to explain to the employee exactly what you want, but trust us, it's more than worth the hassle. Listen, I'm gonna order some fresh fruit. No new orders. We're going on to business. Straight A's for free food. I'm a good student, Principal Skinner. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Being good in school has never been so beneficial. If you have a child who gets straight A's all the time, or at least strives to do so, they might be in for a treat. Some fast food outlets are all about encouraging students to keep up their good grades and will offer them complimentary gifts. At Baskin Robbins, for example, showing off your kid's excellent report card can earn them an extra scoop of ice cream. What is in my report card? And at Krispy Kreme, if they scored six A's, they will get six free donuts. Obviously, it's not every establishment that will run such offers, so you should always call in advance to make sure your celebratory visit will be more than worthwhile. And if you're a student but don't get all those A's, don't sweat it. Tons of fast food joints offer student discounts regardless of your performance, like free drinks at Chipotle and a 10% discount at Subway. I eat three every day to help keep me strong. Customize your burger. Tonight, I'll be eating a monster veggie burger, hash brown and cheesy fries. Listen up, because it's time to drop some knowledge that a lot of people probably don't know. It's not only at Subway that you can customize your food. Okay, picky eaters probably already knew this one, but still. If you want to make sure you have the freshest food possible every time you pull up to your favorite fast food joint, try customizing your order. A new burger every day! You can ask for extra pickles, no onions, light on the mayo, anything really. This ensures freshness because it's simply easier to make a new customized sandwich than to take one that's already wrapped up and tweak it. And if you like your burger just the way it is, just ask for one of the condiments on the side and add it in yourself. This way, not only will you have an order that's made just for you, but it will also be freshly prepared. The burger didn't change me! Made up holidays are your best friend. Happy Princess Day! <laughs> Did you know there is a National Cheese Day or even a National Gumdrop Day? Better yet, did you know that on made-up holidays like these ones, you could score some pretty interesting deals and freebies at your local fast food restaurants? For instance, on May 28th, it's National Hamburger Day, and this year you could get your hands on some pretty sweet offers at Del Taco, where you could take advantage of a buy one, get one free offer on the app. Burger King and Wendy's also joined in on the fun and offered their own deals. Some good deals there. But that's not all. Each year for National French Friday on the 13th of July, McDonald's, White Castle, Checkers, and so many others also plan something special. The same goes for National Pizza Day, National Ice Cream Day, you name it. This hack works for almost any food that's served at fast food joints. Just see which fast food chains are playing along. What is it, National Hot Dog Day? No. Buy more McNuggets, save more dough. Get whatever you want, baby. Let's just share a 20 piece. 20 McNuggets for only $4.99? Oh, man. Let's face it, sometimes even fast food can't completely satisfy our hunger. Whether it's because you were trying to be reasonable or you simply underestimated your appetite, these things happen. To make sure this never happens again and to save some money along the way, try this hack that will change how you order your McNuggets forever. This was going to take some careful budgeting and maneuvering. 
If you're feeding a crowd or you're just really hungry, order a 20-piece McNugget instead of a 10-piece. A 10-piece will cost you $5.19, whereas a 20-piece comes in at $6.99. That way, you'll get double the amount of nuggets for less than $2 more. The best part is, you can still choose multiple sauces to cater to everyone's tastes. Plus, you can never have too many McNuggets, can you? Never enough. Go big or go home. Yeah, can I just get some coffee, please? What kind, sir? Latte? Cappuccino? Macchiato? Uh, just, just a coffee. Just like with the McNuggets hack, sometimes it pays to get more than you originally bargained for. Let us explain. It's no secret that Starbucks can be a little bit on the pricey side when it comes to coffee shops, especially if you go on a regular basis. To avoid spending all of your well-earned paychecks on endless drinks, if you happen to know someone who drinks the same thing as you, this is your lucky day. All you have to do is order a venti. A uh, large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti, yeah. Which is 24 ounces and split it into two cups. That way, instead of each ordering a large size of the same drink, you can save a considerable amount of money and save your barista some time and effort at the same time. And if you're getting a cold drink, ask for light ice. You'll have more of the drink, and at the end of the day, you'll save some money. I believe I ordered the large cappuccino. Hello! Use the app. I can just use the app to tip you, right? All right, folks, it's 2021. If you're not using the apps from your favorite fast food restaurants, you're doing something wrong. Nowadays, you can do pretty much everything with your phone, from ordering groceries to saving some money on your fast food orders. All right, open app. Most chains will have their own app, which are filled with exclusive deals, coupons, and rewards programs that are only available on your phone. Some apps will even give you freebies, and who doesn't like free food? Like when you download the Dairy Queen app, you get a free small blizzard. For Starbucks, the rewards program keeps track of your purchases, and you can cash in your points for free stuff. The same goes for Domino's and Dunkin'. At McDonald's, you can order and pay for your food through the app, meaning you don't need to wait in line. It takes two seconds to download for a lifetime of sweet deals and money savings. I'm starving. That meal wasn't cheap. Gonna need a promo code. Split and share. Daniel realized he could do things his way because he likes doing things his way. Once again, sharing is caring. And by sharing your sub at Subway, you'll be able to save you and your sandwich buddies some bank. Your best bet when you go to Subway with someone is to order a foot long and simply split it and customize it the way you want. Sure, a foot long is no longer $5, like in the famous catchy jingle, but it'll still end up being way cheaper than if you both ordered your own six inches separately. $5. As long as you can agree on the bread and the meat, you will be good to go. You can choose whatever cheese, veggies, and sauce you'd like to put on your half and only pay for one 12-inch sandwich. And if you're dining by yourself and a foot long is too much for you, just order it anyway and save it for later. Two meals in one. That's why you're the captain. <laughs> so smart. Freeze those condiments. Niagara ketchup! I don't get it. Oh, like Niagara Falls, but with ketchup? No! Oh, yes. If you're one of those people who like to order in a lot or simply overestimates just how much hot sauce they're actually going to need for their tacos, then this next hack is for you. Instead of watching your drawer fill up until it can no longer close because you say you'll eventually use those packets, try putting them in the freezer. One, it will preserve them for much longer, and two, they make the perfect little mini ice packs to keep your lunch cool and fresh. We love ketchup. He loves ketchup. By the time you're ready to eat your food, your taco sauce, ketchup, or even dressing will have thawed but still be chilled enough to be refreshing. Seriously, if you're tired of adding to the pile but still don't want to change your sauce packet grabbing habits, the freezer is your best option. That's good advice. Really good advice. Thank you very much. Opt for a kid's meal. Can I get a kid's meal? I don't see no kids. Okay, hear us out. Kids' meals are not just for kids. 
We know, mind-blowing, right? Contrary to most sit-down restaurants that will refuse to serve you the kids' meal if you're over 12, fast food joints are all for it. Not only is it the same delicious food, but at most places, the portions are actually more than enough to fill you up. Let's take Chipotle, for example. For only $5, you can build your meal with rice, beans, steak, and two tortillas. Plus, at some locations, you might be able to score some free sides, like corn or sour cream. There is also, of course, McDonald's Happy Meal, which can be perfect for when you're feeling a little peckish. Chick-fil-A, Burger King, and even Wendy's all offer reasonable portions that can be suitable for grown-ups and at a considerable price savings. Whether it's to fill an afternoon craving, portion control, or fill up for the day, opting for a kid's meal just might be a smart choice. Well, somebody get the kid a Happy Meal! Forget the meat. Oh, meat? What do they eat, light bulb? If you're a Chipotle regular, you know how divine your meal can become if you add some guacamole to the mix. The only problem? Most of the time, you need to pay extra for that green privilege, and at the end of the day, it can become quite annoying. If you're willing to leave the meat or protein behind for the sake of your precious guac, you will get it for free. Please, tell me you didn't try to get free guacamole again by telling them you were married to one of their people. Indeed, if you decide to leave out the meat from your bowl or burrito, they can give you the guacamole to replace it. Another tip, if you want to make the best out of this hack, ask for the guac on the side. They tend to put more in the cup than in your burrito. Going meatless can also be beneficial at other chains, like Taco Bell, for instance. If you want to skip the meat, you can replace it with potatoes or beans for no extra cost. This way, you get a vegetarian meal without having to pay more than everybody else. It's a win-win. I absolutely will do that. Tweak your McFlurries. Well, if this doesn't justify a McFlurry, nothing does. Any true McDonald's fan will agree that the Oreo McFlurry is the superior flavor. And while that's a very valid selection, mixing things up a bit couldn't hurt. If you want to up your McFlurry game to the fullest, try this one on for size. Next time you order this sweet treat, nicely ask the employee if they can add a crumbled up apple pie and hot caramel sauce in it for you. Boom! Instant apple pie McFlurry. However, if your wish is to save a few bucks on your McFlurry order, this next one might suit you better. I'm interested. Even though they're delicious, McFlurries can be expensive. So instead, ask for the sundae of your choice and a cookie on the side. Combine the two of them together and enjoy your decadent DIY McFlurry for about 70 cents cheaper. Honey saves your money again! <gasps> ask for half the filling. What if this could change the world? A burrito. Yeah. You are so weird. Chipotle is definitely the place to go if you're looking for a quick and satisfying fix. And while it's already pretty filling enough, there is actually a way in which you can get almost double the portion without having to pay more. Intrigued yet? Yes! Yeah. If that sounds like something your stomach would appreciate, it's really easy. When you're asked what kind of beans, rice, or meat you want, just say half and half. It's pretty hard to calculate half of a scoop, so most of the time, you will get almost two scoops, but only pay for one. You'll pay for the most expensive protein, but will have gotten one at no extra charge. Sure, it ends up being a lot of food, but at least you get the best bang for your buck, and you have some leftovers. That's why I love you. Arby's Sliders. This one here looks like a Reuben. It's uncanny. Ah, uh, Arby's and their roast beef sandwiches. While this particular fast food joint isn't everyone's favorite, if you're a die-hard fan of the chain, hearing this hack is your sign to head over there right now and get the bang for your buck that you deserve. By ordering two junior roast beef sandwiches for $1.59 each instead of one classic roast beef at $3.99, you can save almost a dollar. And don't worry, just because you pay less doesn't mean you're getting less food. Oh, Contraire. It's like a two for one, but two for two. Plus, it makes it extra easy to share. This hack applies to a number of fast food joints, like McDonald's, where getting a number of small items can cost less than getting one big portion. So don't be afraid to order more, but see your bill drastically go down. Wow, thank you. Know when to go. Time to eat! 
It's true that sometimes you can't control when hunger hits. However, if you can, you might want to choose when you go get your fast food as it could drastically impact the quality of your order. To avoid getting leftover food that's been sitting in the warmer for way too long, head over to the restaurant during busy times. So around breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sure, this might mean that you'll wait a little bit longer to get your order, but at least you'll be sure that it's fresh. When a sleepy turn landed Bruce in the right place at the right time. Depending on the restaurant and location you go to, the turnover rate for the food might not be very frequent. So if you show up right before closing or after the dinner rush, you'll most likely end up with unwanted burgers and nuggets that weren't sold. In the end, you'll be waiting a bit longer, but the freshness will pay off. Oh, thank God I'm starving. Order up more great videos, just tap or click, and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.